Hmm, not bad skin. I'll finish the earrings and become the style queen both in Roblox and in life. Let's trim it a bit. Hello! Boring class again? What are you watching? About rainbow friends. As if it's truly fun. Wow, stuffed green and blue? Come here. They're better than any video. That's something. So cute. Always wanted to play with them for real. Hands off. It's too expensive for you. By the way, I've got another friend around. Star being jealous. Whoa, the coolest notebook in the world. I'll make toys myself. My magic backpack definitely has the necessary materials. Perhaps I'll start with plasticine. Let's do it. We work on the board to keep the desk clean. Tear off a piece of shiny foil. Twist it to create a wire. Now bend it, making a loop. Remember, it takes lots of wires because after playing with them, we'll have a carcass for blue. Hands up, baby. Why is he shaped like this? You'll see later. Don't forget to wear gloves. Some plasticine fun ahead. Make a neat ball out of plasticine. It'll become the head that we'll put on the wire. Next, Blue will get his own legs and the rest of the body. A chubby friend will need eyes. Tie a black knot on a white button. For the other eye, use paints of the corresponding colors. Just a minute, and Blue can see. Let's add a little joy. And of course, a mini crown made of sparkly tamarind. Ready? See, Amanda? Blue came to visit me. Uh, mm. Your parody doesn't compare to my plush buddies. I won't stop there. Blue is bored without company, so it's time to look inside the bag for supplies. Let's go. Usually I carry curlers with me because I really love curls. It's lucky they're green. We'll form the green friend out of them. Grab the knife for plasticine and cut out a hole. Put a small amount of silicone glue there. I've already managed to cut another curler, which will become the body. Glue green's hands the same way. Why don't we use plasticine again? Sculpt two palms and even a few tiny fingers. Voila, green is almost waving and winking at us. By the way, to do this, he can't be without a face. A couple of details for believability. And boldly attach funny eyes. And also draw a smile. Looks like Alice has a critter. Let's show it off. How do you like Mr. Emerald? What this time? Ugh, I'll quickly teach our inventor a lesson. Huh, 200,000 is not a problem. Bye. But you won't make me desperate. Orange also hides somewhere in the depths. Found my darling. Uniform check. So it's time for a new masterpiece. Chunk, chunk. Almost forgot to stock up on tools. Where did she get these ideas? I'll prove I'm no worse. So far, it looks like a carrot. Uh-oh. We'll hide the evidence. Got a nice spatula. Where are the materials? Fine, I'll bring more. Ooh. It was close. And where's the plasticine? It couldn't have just disappeared. Oh. Yeah, it would be oh. better if you evaporated. The pants are done. Get off me, nasty. Wait a minute. I'm a monster? Ugh, nightmare. I will be right back. Ugh, this material should only be handled with gloves. Let's apply a sanitizer and stop the transformation. Seems to be oh. working. Phew, it's all gone. Then I'll remain myself. Let's keep playing with crafts. Markers are calling. Uh, you obviously <laughs> don't have a chance with them. So naive. <laughs> we'll see. You won't destroy my inspiration. Amanda doesn't believe I'm a jack of all trades, but I have an ace up my sleeve. Origami tricks are Alice's secret talent. Paper shapes are amazing, just like this envelope. Make more folds, they'll definitely help us later. Turn it over and repeat the operation. The edges of the sheet are nearly folding themselves the right way. On top of all four pockets, draw a familiar face with a black marker. Here we have the head and body of our little friend in the crown. Directly under blue, we draw the square shape to Mr. Green. A wonderful picture. Paws, fur, peepers, and even teeth are also here. The level will be taken by Google-eyed Red with his unchanging collar. What a style icon! Right? We'll use multicolored felted pens in which Amanda the millionaire does not really have faith. If only she knew how much brightness that gave our tiny friends. Blue is very funny. The finishing touches, a little gold, and blue shines. 
Let's check out our pictures. Combine them as you wish. Rainbow friends look fashionable around the clock. Hey, oligarch's daughter, change your mind. Annoying booster. Wait, why did I think of it earlier? Meet the stunning Huggy Wuggy. Oh, that's a great <gasps> idea. Let's do some playtime magic. Creativity knows no limits today. We'll fit two interesting characters against each other. In the left corner lives a frightening furry and toothy Mr. Wookie. Let's draw a bow and silky wool for him. An equally curious animal lurks in the right corner. A rainbow blue. Let the blue beasts fight. I'll tell you a secret. They promise it'll be really hot. Who will win? The hairy blue or the mysterious button? Passions are heating up. Color magic's in full swing. And our referee, Mommy Longlegs. <laughs> Such an exciting battle. Squiggles on paper. Easy peasy. The classes are over. We could go home. Good luck with your project, Amanda. Finally. I'll be alone with my keys. Poor thing's exhausted. <gasps> Wake up, it's morning. Where am I? Uh, luck turned away. I tried, but the art was not born. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'll help you create another craft. Awesome. I think it wouldn't hurt to write down your instructions. Now listen carefully, apprentice. We take a white sheet. Using a ruler, draw rectangles to make it look like a charge indicator. As in phones, for example. Color seven stripes in the colors of the rainbow with markers. Cut out the pick. We'll get back to it in a minute. Position the previously colored green sheets like this and apply the glue to the bottom paper's edges. On top, we'll attach the usual A4. You see, the middle part moves back and forth freely. Glue a familiar window under the frame. Stage number two. The orange background gets the mini picture, which we carefully draw with a black marker. The cool orange friend is already staring at you and me and showing its multiple teeth. Let's add some vibrance using a brush and white acrylic paint. I feel the red brush pen will perfectly cope with the orange boy's mouth. Additional strokes and emphasize the drawing with a couple of final touches. Let's pay attention to the eyes and fangs. Orange is ready. Cut his face in two halves and glue one onto the frame. An extraordinary mood thermometer shines through the collage. Cool gadget, huh? Orange rocks. The thing's a blast, but I can't. I won't manage to make it that pretty. Upset again? I know a proven remedy. Now we'll make a toy for sadness. A warm-up before responsible work. For the anti-stress tool, we need a bottle funnel and a red balloon. Put it on the neck and check if it fits securely. Throw a handful of Orbeez inside and quickly fill the balloon with them. Yay! Tie a knot and it can be squeezed. Now let's stretch out Red's face, but carefully so as not to get dirty or smudge the drawing. You'll most likely need to apply several layers. I'm so glad I took my trusted white brush pen from home. It makes the bobble for Amanda even cuter. Don't be sad anymore. <gasps> Thanks for the gift, Chaz. I picked Charming Blue. I'll take good care of him. Can I have green? Sure. You're so kind. Wow, gorgeous. How can I get the same manicure? I'll show you. Let me tell you about one life hack. Fingers at the start. The gloves are put on. Squish a small lump of plasticine on the board. Cut off the sides because our craft should fit on a nail. Let's remove the excess. Create the worm from gray plasticine and wrap it around the black thing. It's the most convenient to work with tweezers. With them, we plant white eyeballs. Draw pupils with a marker. They should be pretty noticeable. Attach purple hands. Let your imagination run wild and stick the monsters on your nails. Fantastic! Whoa. They're delightfully beautiful! Thanks for the tip, Alice! I'll immediately fill my fingers for Troom Talk! Let's find an appropriate angle! The subscribers will be amazed, I guarantee! Perfect time to pass! Click and we're famous! Let's wait for the praise and comments! The world will hear about us! You kill rainbow friends! One at a time, guys! I'll get my Rolex for green! Neat! How about me? Stop this torment! Take my money! Here, Restless. 
Will the Boppets do? How generous! Success! I'll make a ton of interesting things out of these! We ended up having real popularity! And someone didn't believe at first! Oh, see you tomorrow! Boring lectures are the longest, so students try to keep themselves busy with something interesting. To be or not to be monologue? Guys, how could you disrespect the greatest playwright like that? I'm taking your smartphones away. Literature is a lesson that needs your full attention. Vicky, your smartphone. Here you go. I don't need it now. No more smartphones in this class. Let's see what I have in my backpack. Where is my pop tube? It has to be here somewhere. That's not it. I don't want to play with Simple Dimple. You can find literally anything in a student's backpack because you never know what would come in handy. The sound of pop tube is more pleasant than the monotonous teacher's voice. Alice, be quiet. I'm listening to you. Imagine if PopTube was silent. Wait a minute. I can try and make one myself. Fold the square diagonally. Bend the corners to the center so it looks like a strip. Bend the corners diagonally again. We should get these kinds of figures. Make some more. Then connect them together with glue. It's better to use different color squares. In the end, you will get a two-color cube. And now the most interesting thing, connect our cubes, and our DIY fidget toy is done. Unlike PopTube, origami toy isn't so loud, so the teacher won't scold you for making noise in the classroom. Ophelia, my flower. The only joy for students is the end of the lesson. I almost fell asleep. This boring lesson is over. Now I can go play whatever I want. Bye, everyone. What's wrong? The door doesn't open. Alice, let me. The door is locked. No way. I can't open it. We're doomed. Help. I have to call somebody for help. We really need to get out of here. Really? No signal? Why now? I don't want Shakespeare's tragedies to be the last thing I hear in my life. I need to calm down. Where's my anti-stress toy? Breathe in, breathe out. Everything will be fine. Maybe I can get a signal outside? Come on, don't let me down. Oh no, our last hope crashed on the grave rocks of reality. It looks like Mr. Rogers is having a breakdown. We have to do something. Hey, Alice. What? I think our teacher needs anti-stress toy. Mr. Rogers? No, it's mine. No. Why are you so rude? All right, I can make a fidget toy for the teacher. I just need balloons and sparkles. Well, let's get started. Cut holes in one of the balloons. Cut off the top and put the other balloon inside. Fill it with sparkles and pour some water. Tie the balloon tightly. And that's it. You can play with it. Teacher, girls, give me your smartphones. I have to call. I dropped mine. This is a tragedy. But Mr. Rogers, you threw our smartphones away. All students' gadgets were taken away by a strict teacher. Why did I do that? Teacher, don't worry. Squeeze the anti-stress toy and breathe. I can't stay here anymore. Maybe I should try Morse code? Like every creative soul, literature teacher Mr. Rogers needs freedom. Teacher, I found a great book for you. Read it, you will like it. A book for teachers? Vicky is so talented at origami, but I can't do it. It's so hard. I messed up again. I'll do something else. Oh, I have a giant poppet. Time will fly by while I play with it. What is that? It sounds even worse than scratching chalk on the board. Looks like Mr. Rogers is very sensitive to poppet clicks. Please stop this torture. I know how to help our teacher. I'll make a silent poppet origami. For the origami master, Vicky, nothing is impossible. She can DIY any trendy anti-stress toy. 
Mr. Rogers will love my DIY poppet. It's a sleight of hand, no magic tricks. The shape is perfect. Let's make a couple more of these and put everything together. That's it. Our silent poppet is ready. Teacher, I made this for you. May I pop? Yeah, try it out. All right. Oh, the sound is so soft. It's music to my ears. You've got hands of gold. Thanks. Please give me an A. Origami Poppet helped the teacher to find harmony and a new interesting hobby. But the students got bored of being locked up for so long. Fly high, my friend. Paper plane? Oh, there's an instruction on how to make it. I have to try it. Fold a sheet of paper in half and align. The most important thing in origami is to pay attention to the details. I can't believe I did such a good job on the first try. Let's see how far it can fly. That's so <laughs> lame. Do you want to see something cool? This thing can fly very fast. What is that? A flying spinner? Ouch, it hurts! This little thing is going to crush our classroom! Alice, do something! Unlike fidget toys, origami does no damage. Alice, what have you done? Look at this mess! Sorry, I didn't mean to. I'd better read a book. The lock is quite old. Maybe if I add pressure, it will unlock. Come on, open the door for me, set me free. There's so much more in this world I want to see. Our teacher is such a drama king. He needs to relax, just like me. I don't understand what's written here. Oh, what's this? Looks funny. Alice, can I see? Of course. Here you go. Thanks. I'm not gonna lie. This is a bit boring. If you don't like it, don't play with it. Looks like Alice doesn't like sharing toys. But that's okay. I can make an infinity cube mm. myself. Making a cube is really simple. You just need to fold the squares like this. Connect the figures we make to get the shape of a cube. Make some more multicolored cubes, arrange them like this, and glue them with tape. We've got an infinity cube. What do you say, Alice? Wow, it's bigger than man and it's colorful. Alice looks upset. Here, take these stickers and decorate your cube. Thanks, Vicky. I feel trapped inside these walls. Why not escape as evening falls? I think the anti-stress won't help here. What else do I have here? Oh, pop it. Hey, cool phone case. Thank you. Hmm, maybe I should try to recreate it. But I want gold. Just a bit of true magic to make the bubbles pop. Now I have a luxury pop it phone case. Wow, where'd she get it? Can you give it to me? No, I'm sorry. But I really want this phone case. I know. I will ask Vicky to trade. What do you think about a tray? All right. Add something else. Oh, do you like pop tube? This is my favorite. Yes, but that's not enough. Gold DIY pop case is not cheap. Vicky values her work. Please trade with me. I accept the bet. Yes, now it's mine. Wait. We don't have smartphones. The teacher threw them away. I just went broke and it was all for nothing. This brand new pop tube sounds so good. I can play with it for hours. Fidget toys are Alice's favorite thing. It's good that I have earplugs. Nothing will disturb me anymore. Oh, it was too much. Hmm. What if I make a pop tube out of something stronger? I have to try it. Why not? Alice, look. Let's connect them together well. Oh, not bad. I made a rope out of pop tubes. Well done. I feel so calm. Is that a rope? It's my ticket to freedom. I will get out of this class. 
Hey, my pop tubes are gone. Mr. Rogers! It's the smell of freedom. You won't stop me. Mr. Rogers will finally be able to go on a long-awaited vacation to happily spend his savings. It's the perfect place to relax. I'd like to sit like this all day. Mr. Rogers, it's time to go to college. Really? Now? I have an idea. And that's why there are ebbs and flows. Rich teacher prefers to teach outdoors. Write it down, as this question will be on the exam. Oh, the students learn better that way. And next year, we're going on a practice trip to the Maldives. I love Mr. Rogers' lessons. The poor teacher can only dream of going to the beach. After all, he doesn't even have money to pay his electric and water bills for which he has been cut off. At least I can wash my face. That's the main thing. In this darkness, it's not hard to mistake the only shirt to wear for work for a towel. I have to get ready as my class is about to start. Mr. Powell, do you really live in a closet leading to Narnia? Or do you live right in the college just to save money? Got it. I'm gonna clean this place up before my students get here. The rich teacher has prepared a very different training program. Your task is to score a goal with this ball. That's easy. Except Dan forgot to calculate the weight of the gold ball. That hurt. You should practice more often. How about playing bowling then? No, I'd rather just run around. And I'll go to the nurse. It's warm-up time. There you go. It looks like an incredible heat wave outside today. Or at least that's what Mr. Powell seems to think. I got an idea. Everybody line up. Oh, what's wrong, Mr. Powell? Are you worried about the heat? Not a problem. After all, you can get your students to do special exercises and discreetly enjoy the gentle breeze they create yourself. Don't slow down. Work faster. Well done. Continue. Oh, I'm so tired. Are we training for the Olympics? To stay awake in music class while listening to the classics is a challenge that not everyone can pass. But this teacher knows how to keep his students interested and engaged. Time to cheer up. Are you ready to party? Today, we're learning about a device which is known as the DJ booth. And that's the kind of music lessons I like. These kinds of teaching methods won't leave anyone indifferent. Except Sleepy Dan. Did you know that some birds can sleep while flying? Although you're about to fall asleep too. Let's take a musical break. The students didn't seem to appreciate such an idea. This is mocking my ears. Well, did I manage to cheer you up? What the poor teacher certainly managed to do was scare everyone away from his playing. Wow, that's a real coin. I got a brilliant idea. The lessons are over for today, as the teacher has more important things to do. I like to spend my time like this. Thank you. When you're poor, you'll do anything for more money, even playing guitar all evening, as it's a good way to make money. I'm a poor teacher, but that's no trouble. Did your pen stop writing during the test? A typical situation for any student. But what to do when you don't have a spare one? Come on, write. I wish I had a new pen so I could finish the test. Your positive attitude towards learning is commendable. For that, I'll grant you your wish. Thank you very much, an angel of studying. I exist to help students. Now I can finish it. We'll see about that. Hey, student, come over to the dark side. Wow, this is way more interesting than any class. The entertainment demon's devious plan worked. Dan has completely forgotten about the test. Get ready, my friends. You're going to have a special astronomy lesson today. Although not everyone loves this subject, Mr. Rogers knows the best way to keep his students interested. Wow, here comes our space guest. Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to tell you a few facts about space. By the way, 
Did you know there is a diamond planet? Oh, I'm sorry. I have to fly away. See you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's not every day you're able to watch a shuttle take off right in class. But Mr. Rogers is capable of making it happen. This summer, I visited 15 countries, went swimming in the sea, and sunbathed on the golden sand, and had fun at the amusement park. Ugh, lucky her. I want to do that too. Good story, Emily. You can sit down. Well, why her and not me? Indeed, a vacation story will touch any working man's heart. You had an interesting summer. Ah, uh, what's the matter with him? The important thing is you had a good time. Mr. Rogers is used to living in luxury, so an ordinary paycheck won't surprise him. And what's all this change? Well, at least I have something to light the fireplace with. The best day of the month is payday. Oh, here's the principal himself. I hope I get a raise. Hello, you look great today. Andrew, you did a good job this month, so you're getting a bonus. Yay, I'm so happy. Here you go. Uh, not much, but every penny counts. For a poor teacher, every coin is of great value, which he usually keeps as the apple of his eye. But something unbelievable happened today. While no one was watching, he decided to get his treasure out. There are my savings that I've been saving for the past few months. Oh, it's a good thing the pirates haven't found out about his treasure yet. The main rule of a rich teacher's lessons is no one be being late. Time is money after all. Mr. Rogers, I'm so sorry. What took you so long? And where are the other students? It's all because of your new security guard at the front of the classroom. Come on in. But what do you mean? Even the president is easier to get to than you. He's checking us too thoroughly. My device indicates the presence of forbidden items. You better show me what you're carrying with you. It's nothing special. Just a pop it. It's forbidden. I'm confiscating it. All right. At least security guard Phil will have something to do. Where is it? I was hiding it on a shelf after all. Ah, so it fell down. There's no one in class, is there? Well, that's good. Let's not waste it. What else can you do when you're poor? Mr. Rogers, how did you get so rich? You see, I've always studied hard and worked hard. So that's the secret to success? By the way, I was just about to show you something. Wow, a pointer made out of money. Not every teacher can boast of such luxurious attributes, but Mr. Rogers is capable of surprising anyone. Good morning, students. Today, we're going to analyze your mistakes from yesterday's geography test. Mr. Powell is as enthusiastic as ever. But here's the problem. His ruler failed him and broke at such an important moment. And the teacher has no money for new stationery. But he has creativity. Sorry I'm late. Hi there, Dan. Hello, ladies. Oh, is this a prank? Where's my chair? It turned out to be an excellent replacement for Mr. Powell's ruler. Oh, Dan, you came just in time. I was just writing your grade for the test. What? Today is clearly not my day. A picture of every college teacher adorns the hallway's walls honorably. But Mr. Powell differs from his colleagues in more than just his poverty. He's also the only one who's been left without a picture. And here's the reason. Done. Who's next? Hey. Mr. Rogers has prepared thoroughly for the photo shoot. And no wonder, as a man of his wealth just has to shine in pictures. I'm gonna eat you now, sweetie. Oops, sorry. Oh no, my shirt got dirty. Phew, good thing mine didn't. What am I supposed to do? Who's next? I can't be shoot looking like this. Eh, I gotta fix that. The local store is just having a shirt sale. Poor Mr. Powell will have to splurge to add a new and clean item to his closet. It fits great. Oh, sorry. Am I having deja vu? Or is my colleague really kidding me? Uh, but I've already made arrangements with the photographer. So I'll just have to take the picture looking like this. 
Are you ready? Smile. Even though the poor teacher's photos will look less gorgeous than Mr. Rogers, it doesn't matter to him. After all, what matters is that he's a good teacher. Did you like our video? Then like it, subscribe to our channel.